Closet Talk, episode one for YouTube. Welcome to my closet. This is generally how it looks after a Friday night of deciding on an outfit. So speaking of Friday nights, it has been a very long time since I've had a brand new album to enjoy while getting ready for my Friday night. I would just like to say thank you to GJ Khaled right now for dropping this album for my weekend so I could actually have some great music to enjoy before going out. Now, lately I have been listening to a lot of podcasts which are great and awesome, but sometimes there are certain podcasts that you don't really want to listen to, like to lead into your Friday night. So one I can think of most recently was by the New York Times, The Daily, the family that benefited from the opioid crisis. This is the subject I'm leading into my Friday night with. So I was deeply interested in this topic. First things first, let's talk about OxyContin. I am pretty sure for the entirety of my life, I thought it was OxyContin. So I'm um, glad we could move from that. OxyContin is the most addictive painkiller. The Sackler family owns Purdue Pharma and distributes OxyContin. In 1996, the Sackler family was made aware of the addictiveness of OxyContin. So in 2001, Richard Sackler said that they needed to hammer abusers. They are the culprit, they are the problem. They are the reckless criminals. So it's interesting how he is adjusting reality to state that the people that are addicted to this drug are the criminals rather than himself. Barry Meyer is an author of a book detailing the opioid epidemic. He states that it's interesting that in the late 1990s, there was a similar situation with the tobacco industry. Brown and Williamson was the largest distributor of tobacco sales and they were taken before Congress, all of the execs, and they were asked, do you believe nicotine is addictive? Every single one of them said no. So this is what I'm leading into my Friday night with. This is what I'm going to the bar with my friends talking about life. I want to talk about the opioid crisis. Is anybody up for that on a Friday night? Mm, probably not. So if you want to talk about this with your friends, I suggest listening to the podcast by the New York Times. It's about 30 minutes real quick. Fascinating. You learn a few things and maybe you want to go down the rabbit hole of researching more like I did. <laughs> like I said earlier, I just really have not had many great options of music to listen to. So I'm super pumped for this DJ Khaled album. So many features. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you learned something new or interesting. If you would like to discuss it, don't hesitate to reach out. And also, I want to know what your favorite song is on the new DJ Khaled album.